Hello, I am Martina Fumeo and I'd love to give you a brief description of our article in Epistemotostasis, a review of current literature, diagnosis and management challenges. The aim of this review is to give you an inclusive and general description of this pathology in dogs with an eye to human medicine. Emphysema to cystitis, EC, is a rare disease in human as well as in veterinary medicine. In both, it is defined as an uncommon form of complicated urinary tract infection, UTI, characterized by the presence of gas within the bladder wall and the human. It must be differentiated from the term pneumaturia, which is described as the passage of gas or air in the urine. Despite its first description in human medicine in 1671, little is known about this disease worldwide. Clinical presentation of EC is variable and patients with EC are not subject to gender or age predisposition. Diabetes mellitus appears as the most common risk factors for the development of EC but many other underlying conditions have been mentioned in literature and should be taken into consideration. In case of EC, Escherichia coli appears to be the most common pathogen isolated from urine cultures. Urine culture and antibiogram should be performed in order to set up an appropriate antibiotic therapy, which could reduce the need of surgery together with an early diagnosis. The prevalence of EC could be underestimated as diagnostic imaging is necessary for the detection of this condition and for a conclusive diagnosis. It has been suggested that, that ultrasonography may be a more sensitive technique for detection of gas within the bladder at, at an early stage. Since there are no significant uh, clinical features strongly suggestive of EC, it could be assumed that every patient presenting UTI signs, even mildly and with a history of diabetes and other risk factors, should be evaluated radiographically and or ultrasonographically to detect or exclude the presence of EC. Nonetheless, further studies are still necessary to better define this pathology and the real prevalence of these conditions. Thank you for your attention.